1999, I've been working in the Southside Market, and I think that, um, you know, it's it, it, it's really just been about small business in this market, small, 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 medium, and small, large is what I like to call. Primarily businesses under a million dollars uh, in total revenue. So um, that's just kind of the impact that that really needs the most help, you know, that we see in our business community down here. And, uh, you know, we're, we've all been advocates of that type of business, you know, and, and help for our businesses for many, many years, as you will hear. But uh, anyway, before I keep going on and on and on, um, I just talked about that. You know, what are our challenges? The types of business loans that you're going to see out there, uh, understanding, you know, Frost and, and uh, Frost Bank's been around for 150 years. You know, we are a relationship bank. So any businesses that are in here, you know, that you hear that relationship bank, what does that mean? Um, we like to meet people in person. We like to talk to them. We like to answer the phone when they call. And, you know, we're not, you know, um, you know, we like that personal relationship with our businesses and our customers and our non-customers and our future customers. So, um, uh, like I said, that is our uh, our culture at Frost. Everyone is significant. You know, we offer a square deal. I always tell people, well, you know, some people will come to me and say, well, you know, we only, we're small. We only need $5,000. It doesn't matter to me. Your $5,000 loan is just as important as a million dollar loan. And I don't care, you know, what size of business you are. I've seen many $5,000 loans turn into million dollar loans. Okay. Over my years. And I think that's what's really important, okay? So, um, like I said, we were founded in uh, 1868, uh, downtown by San Fernando Cathedral. Um, and uh, this is a little bit dated. I think we're up to 50, 60 billion in assets. So, um, and of course, we are only in Texas, all right? We are a Texas-based bank, uh, Houston, Dallas, and recently in West Texas and the Valley. We're not in uh, El Paso, but we're pretty much everywhere else. When you see our logo, you'll see that Frost is banking investments and insurance, okay? We have the primary banking products that all businesses need and all the tools that they need, including treasury management, letters of credit, lines of credit, uh, international services, um, online services, anything that a business needs to operate on a day-to-day -day basis and of course we have supplemental lines of business like investments so if you have money you know and you need to invest it or you need to save it or you need to you know um, do that kind of stuff you know we have the investments of course and then we have insurance a lot of people don't know that we have our own insurance company that offers all the different products that your business might need okay so anyway um, obviously the bank gets a lot of uh, you know recognition over the years and and I don't want to gloat on that or anything like that because I think what's really important is stuff that's coming up. Challenges in financing. Okay, so the biggest concern that I see on a day-to-day -day basis is business growth and cash flow management. I don't have enough money to grow the business. I don't have money. We're living paycheck to paycheck. You know, uh, we're living payroll to payroll, okay? Um, you know, I've got these jobs that I can't fund because, you know, we need cash flow. Uh, or I, I need this machine for my business, but you know, in order for it, for me to operate and be efficient, okay? So that's kind of really this core right here of, of, of business concerns is really the primary thing that we see every day for all types of businesses. So, and then you go through a pandemic, wow, you know, you know what that's been like here for the last two or three years. Um, just kind of just really, really um, bad, but anyway, Business support team, I always tell everybody, your banker, your attorney, your certified, your CPA, your insurance agent, your friend, your consultant, your your economic development counsel, okay? So the thing about it as a small business is that you wear a lot of hats, all right? You're good at what you do, but you don't wear the, the accounting hat every day. You don't wear all these hats. Like, I don't know how to, you know, my financials, what do they mean? How important are they when it comes to a bank? So you have to have that relationship with your support team, which mostly is outside of your business. So that's how you develop those relationships to help you. Uh, and organizations such as Southside First are here to help with that, okay? 
uh, evaluating your business needs to determine, you know, how much you need to borrow. We're just talking about that right now. How, what do I need to move forward? So if you understand your financial position of your business, you're going to know what you need to do to talk to a bank. As I call it the shark tank, you know, and a lot of people say, I don't want to go to a bank because, you know, they're just too intimidating. No, we're not. Um, if you're going there with an open mind, you're going to learn and you never know, you know, that's really the way you have to do it. It starts off like that. Okay. Um, consult your financial institution, meet your banker. That's what we're doing here today. Okay. Uh, and meet a banker. All right. Types of business loans, you know, most often people need short term working capital, which are lines of credit. Then they need, you know, term loans, which is equipment, okay? A six year term for a business, uh, for a piece of equipment, um, whatever it is, you know, I have financed all kinds of equipment, tortilla makers, you name it, whatever you, whatever you have out there, you know, it's important to your business to have it, okay? And I'm going kind of fast, but you know, you're going to kind of get the same thing from my colleagues. So you understand commercial credit cards. It's like any other credit card, you know, it's high as far as the rates concerned. But sometimes when you start your business, you only have a credit card to start off and may, and more often than not, you're after like three years, you go to the bank and say, I've been using this credit card. It's in my name. And this is how I've been financing my business. I want to know how do I need to move it over into my business name. Okay. So that's how you get started. Um, people use home equity loans to run their business. Okay. Home equity lines of credit. Those are really important. You know, those are consumer loans. Uh, so lines of credit, you know, the most important thing, if you have receivables, if you make something, um, and you're not going to get paid for 30, 45 days, you know, you're waiting for invoices, but you got to meet payroll. Okay. These are lines of credit letters of credit. Many businesses need letters of credit because they either rent something that requires a letter of credit. They need some sort of a letter of credit to protect themselves or whoever they're working for needs to protect themselves. So this is very common, especially for the trucking industry and people that rent like from the airport or from the city, you know, they rent, they, they require that kind of stuff. Term loans. We just talked about equipment term loans, 60 months, collateral, fixed rates. Uh, those are still real good. Rates are creeping up a little bit as we see in the market. Uh, leases, depending on your taxing situation, you may want a lease versus a regular loan because the lease is off balance sheet financing. And, um, you know, it all depends on what your accountant says, you know, Hey, lease it or buy it. You know, what do I do? Put it on my balance sheet, not on my balance sheet. You know, it all depends on your, your entity, your, your, your tax structure and, and stuff like that. So, um, real estate loans, great banks love real estate loans, especially when they're owner occupied, man, I've been renting this building for 20 years. I want, I wish I could buy it now, you know? Yeah, we do. We do too. So it's owner occupied. Let's try, let's try. You know, we do those all the time, which is the best because look, you got all the history of paying that rent. Now you can pay it to own your building. All right. So that's a perfect example of what we like to do. Um, and then the SBA 7A program loans, SBA is a big partner of the organization. These loans, the SBA has done a ton of work to help business communities over the last two years in the pandemic and with the PPP loans and all that. So, um, and they are very, very aggressive coming in now to help because now the recovery begins. Okay. And the recovery is not going to happen overnight. So, uh, some of the SBA programs are really, really important. And then this is just loan comparisons. What we just talked about lines of credit, uh, credit cards, which are revolving debt, uh, type of facilities and then term loans, which is like a car payment, monthly P and I principal and interest. Thank you.